Everyone loves an update. Update. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to absolutely beautiful British Columbia. We have a temperature of six degrees here. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that I had, uh, last couple of weeks, I had a connectivity issue with my Model S and um, I wasn't able to get any of my podcasts or any of my streaming services like Slacker. Uh, so Tesla came by the mobile service and replaced my MCU. Now I'm gonna make sure that this is Let's go up to display. Let's go up to 100% so that it's not as flickery for you guys. So let's go all the way down. There we go. So when they came by and they installed, it took about four hours for them to change over the MCU. Uh, and I'd say three hours with the actual, you know, R&R, &R, taking it out and putting it back in. And then there's about 45 minutes of them downloading the latest and greatest which is fantastic because prior to this uh, I was on 2019 40.2 I think it was and uh, now with all the updates and upgrades with the modern brand spanking new MCU I now have well let's check it out so I have well, that's not going to tell me it is the 2020.4.1 and on this one this is fantastic don't forget we're in the vintage we're in the classic we're in the pre-facelift we're in the what other the old uh 2015 model s so latest and greatest let's go all the way back i'm going to say this was the latest and greatest. I think this is the one that I got uh, previously before it crapped out. Uh, but now we have a bunch of new ones. Well, one of the first ones is the driver profiles. Uh, additional navigation settings are now saved to your driver profiles, such as volume levels, which is fantastic, and voice guidance, as well as traffic display settings. Uh, this release contains, more, well, that's other mixes. So voice keyboard. You can now use dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard and input via voice control. Well, that's really cool. Backgammon, never played it. Don't think I ever will. Uh, even when supercharging. So when I'm supercharging, all I usually do is uh, make sure I download a couple of um, Netflix shows and then I watch it uh, while charging. This is the one that I'm really excited for, and this is for camp mode. I was quite disappointed when um, the woman I live with, her Model 3, got the latest and greatest because it had camp mode, and mine didn't, and I camp in my car quite, quite frequently. The, uh, I, I work in, in Surrey, which is about 52 kilometers away, and the shift pattern, um, you, you know, you can get off at 10.30, and if you do overtime, then you have to be back at 6.30 in the morning, so that's an eight-hour turnaround. And living out uh, this way, it's about an hour to work, an hour back, and that would cut into my beauty sleep, and I have to maintain this moneymaker. So, uh, camp mode, it says your car can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music or power devices when camp mode is enabled. To enable camp mode, tap the fan icon at the bottom of the touch screen and set keep climate on to camp mode while your vehicle is in park. Big batteries rock. And you know, uh, you know Elon wrote those last three words, eh? Because that's the kind of thing he does. Uh, some phone improvements. I can now read and respond to text messages. Oh, okay, yeah. So when the Model 3 got it, I kind of showed you they had to set it up. I even put a video, and the video will be up there. Uh, up, wait a second. Up there or there? No. Yeah, up there. And uh, don't you just hate it when people point to the corner and then nothing's there? That's unprofessional YouTubeism. 
I would say. Anyway, so uh, getting back to the point, yeah, phone improvements. Uh, you can now read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel. Uh, when your new message is received, it will be displayed in the cluster, which is there. That's my cluster, not like the Model 3, which has the huge iPad. Um, uh, select read from the th and press the right scroll wheel. No, oh, okay. Well, we will have to give that a try, and, and Tesla reads it out for you. So uh, there is a way to set it up. I do have a video on how to do that. And what we have here, voice commands. Yes, when you watch that video, you'll see that I got really upset at uh, the car for not understanding voice con commands as such. Um, I don't know if it's because of my accents. accent. Yeah, but uh, yeah, issues. Uh, so it says uh, climate navigation turn. Let's go back to work. Media play the Beatles. Communication called David Lewis. Don't know him. Uh, show me the rear camera. Okay, we'll give to give that a try. And additional vehicle information. View additional information regarding the configuration of your car by tapping control software. Additional information. Well, let's go through. Uh, let's go through some of those. So. Let's go with the additional information. So I just hit the uh, home button. I'm going to go to software. And right here, it says at the top, there's my VIN number, additional vehicle information. And there it is. Air suspension is standard. Audio system is the base. Uh, steering wheel, wiper heaters, cold weather package, door opener, home link four. So it tells you it's an induction motor and induction small was the rear type. So that tells you what kind of information about this vehicle. Uh, what else is okay? We're gonna go into camp mode. So it says, click on the fan. Oh, at the bottom, uh, off on dog, and there is the camp mode right there. I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, so you can use that, and I can't remember. Yeah, no, this car did have dog mode, but I didn't use it. Uh, what else? Okay, let's try to give it some, um, voice. Turn climate control on. And there it goes. Just turned it on. Let's try another one. Turn on rear camera. Boom! Look at that, like a boss. It is listening and understanding uh, to what I have to say, how about um, show tire pressure? Opening tire. It's not opening. Where would it be? It said that it was going to do it. Let's try this again. I'm gonna turn all this off because it's show tire pressure. Opening tire pressure monitor. I don't see it. That's really because it's usually over here on the left hand side. So if I hold in the left scroll wheel and I scroll down to car status. Oh, maybe because I've been sitting that it doesn't show any. So, oh, that is really so that's probably why it's not showing it in uh, the right side. Um, so let's see what else was there. Um, I'm going to just give me a couple of seconds. I am going to get the uh, woman I live with to send me a text and then you can see what's going on there. So stand by to stand by. 12 seconds later. All right. So I have just got her to give me a text and let's see what happens here. So you see that it comes up in uh, on my binnacle there and I can go down to view message or hit dismiss. So I'm going to hit view message. Pamela says, hi, Martin. I must say the Canadian Tesla Martin YouTube channel is the best. Keep up the good work. Well, that's really nice of her to say that, isn't it? So I can use the thumb wheel to dismiss it or I can hit reply. Uh, let's give it a little bit of reply. Thank you, Pamela. I appreciate your kind words, and so do all my viewers. 
and then I'm going to send to Pamela and it's done which is fantastic so don't forget on the model or on the model 3 it comes up on the right hand side but here on the model s it comes uh, right there in the front so we've seen dog mode we've seen text to talk um, we have done I think we've done everything that it said that, that was in this at least notes I'm not gonna play backgammon I'm not gonna bore you phone improvements voice we've done uh, camper mode backgammon a voice keyboard so I guess that's down when you can go down to um, let's go to music we can go to any music there's a keyboard there's a voice but I thought that was always there uh, let's give that a try play Depeche mode well there's all the albums from Depeche mode all right so uh, good um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns or comments about anything that's happened here today, um, I, I, I love the fact that our 2015 or our older generation uh, Teslas are, are still being updated by Elon and the team. Uh, it would be really upsetting if he just dismissed us. But uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, we are still a very important part of the... Uh, the team i guess uh so don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i do uh reply to comments and uh i'll talk to you soon take care bye